In this video, we will learn how to create fracture photo effect using Photoshop actions in Photoshop CS6 extended. It will be fun so let's jump in Photoshop. Welcome back everyone, my name is Dhran Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and today we are going to create a fracture photo effect. But uh, before we start, let me, let me just show you what we can create with this. Uh, this is a simple image. After creating our selection around this uh, subject or we can say object or whatever we can call this or character. So when we, the final result will be this one. You can create many type of changes in that. So it's all depend on you. So la let me just uh, show you this one. Today we will work on this image and uh, creating selection uh, around this. And after creating selection, uh, the result will be this amazing so I hope you like this work and uh, before we start first of all let me just mention you one thing most of the peoples are facing problem using these actions just because they don't pay attention to the announcement of at the start of this tutorial because I always mention which version of Photoshop I am using and what type of image you can use like you have to use uh, high resolution image not lowest resolution image because it will not work in lowest resolution image uh, because it creates some path strokes that's why the smallest image cannot create strokes that's why the error comes up that the stroke file path not found or uh, these type of errors so there is no problem with these actions you just have to pay attention that you just if I am using Photoshop CS6 extended like today we are going to use Photoshop CS6 extended then you have to use Photoshop CS6 extended for this type of actions fracture of Photoshop actions and uh, before we start let's just delete this one and uh, just uh, when you will download this file it will be in zip when you will extract that there will be folder open this folder there are two type of folders the, uh, one folder is for CC plus version and CS6 version so and there is a file named fracture brushes so we will need to upload uh, load these brushes so this action can be run in CC plus or CS6 if it is not working in CC plus then you will uh, you can use it in CS6 it surely work because I am also working in CS6 so let's just first uh, what we need to do is we'll create a new layer and as we see that I have created a new layer and name this as brush it will be in lowercase keep in mind that it will be in lowercase so the name will be brush like this I have created a selection around this uh, object you can see that like uh, choose a sharp brush or sharp color so it could work more uh, nicely so you can see that around this character so the all of the effect will be all over this image so uh, when you will create selection the second step is to load brushes go to edit presets go to preset manager from the preset manager you will see that click on and load brushes and uh, let's just go back and we will find out our fracture brushes so there will be a fracture brushes named file so I have already loaded this but let's just load it again so there we have the fracture uh, loaded um, brushes are loaded now press done go to windows go to actions and go to this icon and click on load actions from the load actions click on back back and select your folder which you have downloaded these files now pay attention that I am using CS6 so we will open CS6 folder and click on this uh, fracture uh, named file which is action file click on load so it is loaded uh, well, I have loaded twice, so no problem in that. So, uh, when you will create a selection around your sub uh, object, you can see that. Now, the only thing is that click to open this and click to open this again. And uh, look at this. Now, the only thing you have to do is click and play the actions. So, play, click, uh, click this play selection and wait for, wait for the process to complete its work. okay so the process is completed so just need to close this you can create transparent background it all depends on you so it will create a transparent background like I don't I don't want to create a transparent background so you can smooth your design also 
let's just try it once if it works So there we have we have finished our work you can create transparent background you can smooth your design or you cannot you, you it's, it all depends on you so close this palette and close action palette look at this uh, this is a great result you can see that it is very very soft uh, you can just uh, unsoft this also you can see there by turning these two uh, layers off the difference is right on you look at this you can make more sharpens and let's just press ctrl alt and click and close these all folders at same times uh, folders or we can say groups now you can change different type of things like you can change the lightning uh, let me just uh, close this one you can just change the lightning you can just change the colors you can change everything you want to change so look at this uh, from here you will see there is a color variation folder uh, let's just check uh, color variation so there we have color variation folder from there you can change your overall image color which give it uh, gives it a amazing look uh, it all depends on you you want to change or not uh, like this 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 any type of color you can change and make sure that you are using a high quality image up to like uh, uh, 1600 px so it could work easily on that image and try to use cs6 extended version because it can easily do this work as i showed you in this video so make sure hit that like button uh, right in the corner and it will really help me a lot and please share my work to all and sorry about the traffic because this is daytime and the traffic is always you can see so traffic is always on the road so we will meet in our next video make sure to subscribe our channel it's uh, again I'm saying again and again I, I always say that click that subscribe button little subscribe button which is red just click and make it white so it could more easy for you to find out our next video so we'll meet in our next video keep in mind never stop and keep learning